Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to write rotate an array by one element. Let's say there is an array like this and you want to rotate this array to the right by one element. That means this is the original array guys. If you right rotate this array by one element, what will happen? Let me show you. So this one, this one will be moving to the right side. Okay. This one will go here and this two will go here. This three will go here. This four will go here and this five will come here like that guys. You're getting my point, right? So you are simply rotating this array by one element to the right side. That means this four will go here. Since four has gone here, this five will go here. Okay. Since five has gone here, one which was there here will go here and two which was there here will go here and three which was uh, there here will go to the right side. So if you compare this array with this array, you see one is there here, but here it moved to the right side by one number only the one has moved to the right side. Here two is in the second position, but it has moved to the third position. That means it has rotated right by one position. Three went a bit head in the position here four like this five went to the first position because there is no other element after five. So it has to when you rotate this array by one element to the right side, this five has to go here guys. One has to come here, two has to come here, three has to come here, four has to come here. So hope you understood what exactly is meant by right rotating an array by one element. Now we need to write a Java program to make this possible. Okay. We need to write a Java program to right rotate the original array by one element. So what kind of logic we are going to do is let me explain. Here to get started, we'll store this last number. Okay. This five will store somewhere like this. Uh, let me store. We'll say int last number is equal to last element is equal to the size of the array is five, right? So let's say this array name is a assume that array name is a a of size. What is size? Size is five, five minus one. That is a of four. A of four, a of four means a of zero, a of one, a of two, a of three, a of four. So we are simply assigning the last element of the array to this last variable. That means five will be stored in this last variable. Then what we'll do next is we will iterate through this array and assign four to five. Simply we'll assign this four to five. So five will go away guys. Okay. Here five is stored in the last for now because we are going to replace five here. So Beforehand only we have stored a of four into the last after that we have copied this element into this element. So five is gone in place of five four came. Now next what we'll do is we'll copy this three here. We'll move this three to the right side. So four is gone. Now we'll move this two to the three. So two uh, three is gone. So we'll move this one to this position and at the end we'll simply assign like this guys we'll assign a of zero is equal to last what will happen guys when i say a of zero is called last is holding five so five will be pasted here a of zero is nothing but this element like this guys we have to write the logic let me practically show you how to write a java program to write rotate an array by one element so initially the array is like this integer array a is equal to this array guys. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, five. This is a given array and this array we need to write rotate by one element. I explained what exactly is meant by write rotate by one element. Now let's do that programmatically. So to get started, what we have to do first, we have to store this last element. Okay. First, we have to store this last element into a variable int last is equal to. We need to find the size of this array. A of A of last element is having index what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So fourth index. How to get the fourth index? We'll get by size. Size is five. Five minus one is fourth index, right? So we'll say a of a dot length minus one. What does it this uh, mean, guys? A of the value is a dot length minus one. A dot length is five. Five minus one is four. So this means a of four. What is a of four? A of four is nothing but one to uh, zeroth index. First index, second index, third index, fourth index. At fourth index, what is the value? A of four is the nothing but this five guys. Five will be stored into the last variable now. Okay. At present, in the last variable, five is stored. To get started, we have to assign the last element value to this last variable. So we are going to use this last variable at uh, some point of time in the program. Now we'll write a for loop for starting with the index, last index. So here, uh, every time we have to say a dot length, a dot length, right? For that, I will I will give one more solution. Int size of the array is equal to a dot length. Simple. Now next time onwards, you don't have to specify a dot length. Simply provide size here. That will be good for reading purpose and all. Okay, a of size minus one or a of okay. So for int i is equal to I'll give again size minus one. Starting with the index five, that is index four here, which has a value five. Okay, this is the last index. Zero, one, two, three, four. Size is five. Size is five. Five minus one is four. So for fourth index, that is zero, one, two, three. Fourth index is five, like that. I greater than zero. I am intentionally saying I greater than zero, guys. Okay, I'm not giving equal to here. There is a reason why. There is a reason why I should not give I greater than uh, equal to. Instead of greater than or equal to, I'm simply giving greater than. I'll tell you at later point of time what will happen if you give equal to. Okay, I plus plus. Or else we can give equal to now and let uh, let me show you the problem. After that we can remove this equal symbol. Okay, for now I'll I'll start with the last index. Till the zeroth index. At later point of time, I'll tell you what is the problem with the equal to symbol, and we'll remove that at later point of time. Now, what I'm going to do is, as I mentioned, this four should be copied here. Okay, fourth element four, which is available at the index three, should be moved to the element five, which is at the index four. How to do that? For that, I will say a of i. A of i is equal to means i is size minus one. Size minus one is four. I is at present four. Four greater than or equal to zero. True or false? True, right? Four greater than or equal to zero is true. So we'll go inside the for loop and a of i is this size minus one. That is four. I is four now. A of four. That means five. Okay. A of i is this position is equal to a of i minus one. I will say. What will happen, guys? When I say a of i is equal to a of i minus one, a of i is this one. A of i minus one is this one. You are assigning a of i minus one to a of i. That means four will be here. I'll internally what will happen? I'll depict here so that you'll understand how this program is working. We are simply assigning this a of i with a of i minus one. That means four will be assigned to five will be replaced, guys. Five is gone. Okay. When you say a of i is equal to a of i minus one, this will be copied to this value, and five will be gone. Done. That is done. Now i plus plus. Or uh, no, this should not be i plus plus, guys. This should be i minus minus. You have to decrement because you started from the index, last index. So it has to go to the till the zeroth index kind of thing. So i minus minus. So this will become three. I will become three. Three greater than or equal to zero. Again true. We'll go inside that. Here a of three is this one. A of three is equal to a of three minus one. A of two. A of three is equal to a of two means this value, a of two value will be assigned here. So four will be gone like that. Now I will become i minus one. That means I will become two. Two greater than or equal to zero again. True again. We'll go inside here. A of two. A of two is this one, zero one two. A of two is this one is equal to a of one. That means two will be simple, same thing, guys. Okay, copied like this. Previous value will be copied to the next value kind of thing. 
now i will become one one greater than or equal to zero true again we'll go inside we'll go inside here a of one a of one is this one this is zero a of zero this is a of one a of one is equal to a of zero it's saying that means one will be copied to this position done now understand guys there is a problem with this equal symbol here that has to be removed i will tell you why now i became zero you are saying zero greater than zero zero greater than or equal to zero true or false true again because zero is equal to zero so one of the condition is true we'll go inside the for loop now a of zero is equal to a of minus one is it possible till a of zero is fine this is a of zero but where is a of minus one is it possible to get a minus one here no that's the reason guys we should not be given equal symbol here if you don't give equal symbol the loop will break here zero greater than zero is false will come out of the for loop so now there is a still there is a problem guys that is here four came to this position right rotated three right rotated two right rotated one right rotated but is five right rotated if five has to be right rotated it has to come here right but here you see one one two three four is there here five one two three four should be there that's the reason guys initially we stored the last element into this last variable that is we have stored five into this last variable now simply what we can do at the end of the for loop is a of zero is equal to instead of a of i is equal to a of i minus one we will simply directly say a of zero is equal to this last that means what will happen guys the five which is stored in the last in the beginning of the program will be assigned to the a of i a of zero that means five will be assigned one will be replaced and in place of that five will come now do you see whether the array is right rotated by one element yes guys the array is now perfectly right rotated by one element five move to the first position one move to the second position two move to the third position three move to the fourth position and four move to the fifth position it's perfectly right rotated so hope guys you understood how to write a java program okay to right rotate but let's see the results guys okay let's remove all this which i have given just for explanation purpose this comments i'll remove the comments and i will try to print out this array guys okay after right rotating this array i'll print out this array to see whether the array is really right rotated or not system dot out dot print ln okay how to print an array first of all in order to print this array we need to convert this array into a string how to convert this array to string for that there is a predefined class in java that is arrays class and we need to call a method known as two string method so in two string method we need to pass this array this array is integer array right i will select this option two string array so we need to copy this array name into two string so this two string command two string method will convert this array a into a string and uh, print ln will simply print that particular string simple now let's run this code when i run this code you see is this array right rotated or not yes it is right rotated so one move to the second position two move to the third position you see everything is happening perfectly and last element move to the first position that means the array is perfectly right rotated so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to right rotate an array by one element so that's it guys thank you bye